Hi and welcome to another Cheeky Girl Creations video. So today I'll be doing a couple abstract illustrations and for the base I'm using Winsor Newton Cotman watercolors with a very uh, big and like floppy brush. I got that brush off of AliExpress uh, last year I think. I might have done a review on it, I can't really remember. If I have I will pop that um, down in the description and in an iCard so you can view the video. But it's really nice to like keep me loose um, so that I'm not focusing too much on details and more just kind of putting down colors and like looser bigger shapes especially if I'm doing like a larger illustration so I wanted to have one illustration with warm colors and one with cool colors so the one on the left is cool colors and the one on the right is warm colors so for the cool colors I use Thalo Blue, Viridian, Lemon Yellow and Alizarin Crimson and then for the warm colors I used Cadmium Yellow Hue, Sap Green, Cadmium Red Pale Hue and Ultramarine, yeah and Ultramarine Blue. So those are the colors I used. Um, if I miss anything, it'll be in the description anyway, along with the rest of the materials. But um, yeah, so I didn't really have much of a plan. I just wanted to use those colors and then just kind of put down some shapes and just kind of see where it went. And I didn't really know how I was going to finish off the piece when I first started. I just knew I wanted to use watercolors. And I thought I was going to use gouache, but I had done that for like last week's video. So I wanted to do something slightly different. So once like all of this had dried, um, I only put like one level, like layer of paint for like each illustration because I wanted it to be quite light. I then went in with some Derwent graphic line paint markers um, or paint pens. Let's see, what do they call themselves? Well, they call themselves paint line painter but yeah they're just paint pens um and i've got like four sets i don't know if they have any more i bought the sets when um not too long before they had like launched i went to like a um oh gosh i can't think of the name but you know where you go and there's like a whole bunch of different stores with like new materials and like more regular materials like one of those kind of places um if i remember the name i'll put it up on the screen and yeah so i got these many years ago when they first came out and um, i have set one two three and four i'm not sure if they have any more as i said and i use a few colors out of them um you can see me swatching them I, I picked out the colors I liked that I thought might have been warm and might have been cool and then I swatched them out just to make sure that they were um, and then also so I can see the colors a little bit clearer and figure out which ones I wanted to use on the pieces. So um, I will have the colors that I use listed down below just because there's quite a few so I couldn't really like remember them all off the top of my head. Um, and they're just like paint pens, you know, you just like push them down to get them started. You don't always have to do that though. Like when you push them down, it comes out, a lot of paint comes out. Um, totally because it's not a paint mark, it's a paint pen. So some of them I kind of had to start up again, but most of them I didn't really. They're pretty good and actually they've never clogged on me and I've had them for a while. So they're pretty good quality and they're really nice and bright and they are, they are acrylics, I think because they're water-based and I'm not sure if they're exactly acrylics but they're probably something along that line but yeah they are water-based which is nice so they don't have that funny smell like the oil-based um, paint markers have and yeah so once I had swatched everything out I just went in and started to add some like marks some doodles some definition again I didn't really know what I was doing um I just went in and was just basically doodling um once i kind of got into the swing of it i kind of knew like maybe where i would put some marks but yeah didn't really have a plan i just wanted to add details without taking too much away from like the watercolor shapes um and also trying to keep it somewhat loose and yeah so I didn't really like add like many layers of the paint markers. I just went in 
and just like added the marks and stuff some areas like say if the paint marker was starting to dry out and like i had to kind of get it started again i would just go over to make sure it was nice and dark but um yeah i didn't really have to add any more like too much layers even with the yellows the yellows were nice and bright and what i did is i picked like so blue went over blue teal went over teal yellow went over yellow um and i just picked the colors that like best match the uh paint because i didn't really want a contrasting color over top of say like the red i didn't want a very different red i wanted the colors to match as closely as possible so it would kind of blend in so it's added some detail but it's also blended in a little bit because i was going to go in with like a black and white pen so yeah this was just kind of to add a little bit more depth and i could have done this with the watercolors but um i wanted it to be quick and if i had used the watercolors it probably would have taken a lot longer and i just wanted to kind of um do some quick illustrations and um yeah and it also meant that if i wanted to add say like some extra marks or anything uh with the paint pens they would like match pretty well like how i added some extra red lines on the right one and these were supposed to be cards just like like last week's illustrations um if you haven't seen that video i'll put, put that in an icard if you want to take a look um that video i use watercolors gouache and like inks and a few other things um so yeah i was thinking of making these cards i'm not too sure if i still will um they'll either end up as cards or matte framed artwork i'm not too sure yet so uh I just have them like sitting aside and I'll figure out what to do with them before the next market. But yeah, I'm not too sure what I want to do with them yet because I don't know, I really like them. I think they could be both very much, but I'm not too sure what I want to put them as yet. And yeah, so once I um added the marks, so one thing I will say is that all the marks I added pretty much like go with the shape that's underneath it um it just kind of flows with the piece so i didn't really want anything that would like go against or like be too angular or anything so if it was on an angular part of the shape it was angular if it was like on the curved part it was curved um just so it kind of adds to the flow especially with the right side one um i really liked how fluid that looked so i wanted to keep that fluid look with the paint pins and then once all of that was dry um, I went in with uh, a Uniball Signal white gel pen to add some highlights and um, just kind of brighten the, up the piece. You can see like when you add the white, it really like brightens everything up and makes it pop a lot more. And um, yeah, and I just follow the shapes, um, like the marks that I had made with the paint pen, with the white gel pen. Because I wasn't really like, there's no, because it's like abstract, and it's not really situated anywhere there's no like point where the light's coming from so i just use the white as just like another layer of doodles and marks really and once i did that i was able to go in with a uniball uni pin sorry brush marker And I used the brush marker instead of the fine liners because then I could vary the thickness of the line how I wanted it. Because like some areas I wanted to have a slightly thicker line um, and then some a slightly thinner line. So I thought instead of using like a bunch of different fine liners, I would just use the brush marker. And that just helped to just ground everything because like once you add the highlights, it looks really good and everything, but it was just kind of floating. And then you add like something darker. It doesn't always have to be black. Um, it could be like a dark brown, a really dark blue, but I wanted it to be black. I don't have that much fine liners. Um, so if I wanted it to be another color, I probably would have had to use like inks or the watercolor as well. So yeah, so I use the brush marker to add some depth as well as like just a few more details now i just pretty much again followed the paint pen lines with the brush marker and then in some places i just kind of like added some more brush marker especially like where i just found it was just floating a little bit more because i did use the white gel pen to add some like further details but the 
black really did also help to ground it very well. And then I signed it with my signature, as I always tend to do. And then that was pretty much it. Um, yeah, this was some really simple illustrations. It's really fun to do if you ever want to like try abstract. Watercolor is great because you can be a lot looser with watercolor, especially say if you wet the page before and then you dab the paint in then it could like bloom and spread out and you can work from there um you could do it in a way like if you put a bunch of like splotches of paint maybe you could then doodle on top of it and like draw flowers or something um this i just went with the shapes and just kind of like doodled but i could have like if i saw an image i could have done that and drawn over it so it all like depends on what the look you're going for and yeah, so I don't think I have anything else to really mention about it. Uh, if you have any questions, you can feel free to ask me in the comments below. Uh, all materials will be down in the description. And yeah, oh, and please do tell me which one is your favorite. I think the one on the right is my favorite. Favorite. I really like the like fluid look to it, like how it's a bit of a figure of eight. I really like that. Um, yeah, I think that that one's my favorite so let me know which one is your favorite and i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already click that bell so you get notified whenever i upload a new video i have a podcast at the beginning of the month talking about all kinds of arty things i have a studio vlog at the end of the month so you can see what i've been up to and then i have a few process video videos in the middle so thanks again for watching there will be close-ups at the end of the video so you can really see what it looks like at the end and i will see you guys next week thanks for watching bye